الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد the rights of our parents our mothers and our fathers and the rights of our next of kin our our kinfolk our aunts our uncles and our grandmothers and so forth is very very serious in Islam and very very important so the status of your kin the status especially of your parents is very very important as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions it all throughout the Quran and to your parents be uh, obedient or be righteous you know be good with your parents all throughout the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has has told the believer and ranked it up there along with one of the duties of tawheed even the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in authentic hadith when he asked about the best deeds that a person can do the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said uh, he he mentioned the first deed he said salat ala waqtiha thumma qal th- uh, wa qal thumma ay qala so the Prophet ﷺ was asked about some of the best deeds to perform. And the first deed that he mentioned, he mentioned praying salat, you know, praying the prayer during its time or in the beginning of its time, as uh, depending on the left of the hadith. That praying salat in its uh, appropriate time or at the beginning of the time that the prayer comes in, that this is one of the best deeds you can do. Then he was asked, then what? And this is by Abdullah bin Mas'ud. He asked him this, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. And he said, bitter walidain. He said, being kind to one's parents. You know, so being obedient to one's parents and kind and trying to serve your mother and your father and your grandparents, your aunts and your uncles and so forth, uh, regardless of whether Muslim or non-Muslim. This is an important, uh, great deed that the Muslim should never fall short in trying to perform that striving your best to be obedient to your parents is alim in islam and being disobedient to them disobeying the parents and those uh family members that have those rights over you is also a a grievous sin and something very serious that we need to do our best to stay away from imam bukhari said in his book which is known as uh, Adab al-Mufrid. He said, رضي الله تعالى عنه or رحمه الله تعالى He said, باب بر الأقرب فالأقرب He said, the chapter which is entitled the, uh, the, the next, the closest of kin you know that we should be and this is talking about uh, or the, the righteousness towards, the, towards kin towards your kinfolk. He said, Hadathana Haywat ibn Shuraih Qala hadathana Baqiyatu an Buhir An Khalid ibn Ma'dan An Makdam ibn Ma'di Kurbi Kurib Anhu Sami'a Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Yaqul إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُسِيكُمْ بِأُمَهَاتِكُمْ ثُمَّ يُسِيكُمْ بِأُمَهَاتِكُمْ ثُمَّ يُسِيكُمْ بِأَبَائِكُمْ ثُمَّ يُسِيكُمْ بِأَقْرَبِ فَالْأَقْرَبِ And this hadith is a sound hadith, sahih hadith. And this hadith is أَخْرَجُهُ uh, أَحْمِدْ وَإِبْنْ Maja. Uh, that this hadith is a sound hadith. In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that Miqdam uh, ibn Ma'di Qarib, he said that he heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam say that verily Allah advises you or uh, advises you or or orders you to 
be gentle or kind with your mothers. Then he advises you to be gentle and kind with your mothers. Then he advises you to be gentle and kind with your fathers. Then he advises you or orders you to those next of kin. In this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there are immense benefits and it shows us that this is part of the wasiyah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that it is firmly uh, 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 affirmed by his Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum Ajma'een that the uh, right of the parents and being and the Prophet ﷺ emphasized and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizes the right of the mother first and foremost and then the father so that they have great rights over us and this is especially due to the difficulty that the mother experienced in carrying you that she carried you for nine months or approximate thereof she uh, delivered you during birth that is a great uh, sacrifice in her body and in her, her probably her mental status. It affects in, in everything, her physical and mental and spiritual well-being to a, a greater or lesser extent. It's difficult on the women. And, and perhaps the men would not even be able to uh, bear that burden or and Allah has not created them to do so. And also the breastfeeding, that this is also the great thing that the mothers, many of them, do for their children. And the weakness that we are as, as infants and children, and we are in complete need of love and affection and mercy and kindness and being taken care of in every which way, and this comes from the mother, predominantly this comes from our mothers. So this is why the mother's right is so great and why uh, the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned the mother that her right is so strong and even above the father's right. And this was emphasized by the Prophet Sallallahu as important advice because that the people, uh, especially in our time now, are very uh, take this duty very lightly. They're not kind with their parents. How many people do we hear about being not just disobedient to their parents, but striking their parents, cursing out their parents? This is something even in my generation we could not have fathomed, and especially in the community that some of us come from, in, in our uh, even as non-Muslims in the African American community, predominantly if a person was disrespectful to their parents, they would be crying most of the time if they were still breathing because in our community uh, predominantly the mothers and the fathers were pretty strong in discipline that they would tear your uh, your bottom up so to speak so that it shows us that now societies due to the media due to the effects of all the various forms of the media with the internet, with the television. I'm amazed even when I visit and I hear cartoons and so forth. The things in the cartoons, the way they speak to the parents, they speak to the parents as if they're their, their best, their, their big buddy or their enemy. And as their buddy, to, with total disrespect, just like you would, you would treat your friend Muhammad or your friend Jeff or your friend uh, Sam or whoever, they, they treat them on the same level. This is not the case with the believer. The believer does not disrespect their parents in such a, a fashion, but rather maintains their, their level. Their level is above you. They took care of you. They raised you. And they supported you. And they have great rights in Islam above you. So the Muslim, in dealing with their parents, is even, even when they feel they're being wronged, or perhaps they are being wronged, they are still respectful of their parents. 
within the bounds of Islam. They still will lower their heads if their parents uh, speak to them in a very harsh manner. Yes, mother. Yes, father. Yes, okay, yes. But you know, if if they if they are speaking to you and and it is a and they are wrong, you make your case with gentleness but not causing argumentation and not disrespecting them and never to the extent that we see nowadays of people raising their hands to, and fighting their parents people cursing their parents people uh, just total chaos and this shows that these are the signs of a destruction of a society a society that maintains that type of uh, lack of disrespect for the parents and the the uh, level that and status that they ha were given by Allah, the Creator of the heavens and earth. No, there's no way possible that a society like that will remain uh, with peace and remain intact. And this is especially the case that we see in our society, in the society of the United States of America, that we see the degeneration of our youth, regardless of what their faith is, regardless of whatever, the youth have gone literally crazy and wild. They've lost their mind. And what we see, we see it's common to hear people uh, beating their parents up or pulling a gun on their parents or shooting their parents or cursing out their parents. It just becomes a regular thing. And that the lack of discipline, the lack of discipline that, that we see in the society. On top of that, another reason why we see that this is uh, uh, a very serious matter in the United States, especially, is because the society, the government itself, encourages this behavior. Why? The Child Protection Services is one of the, in fact, instead of the Child Protection Services, maybe they should call it more appropriately CDC or CDS, Child Destruction Services. Why? Because they are authorized to go into the homes of people if they feel it is necessary and take the children from the parent. If they feel in their mind, in their thought, according to their ideology, they feel there's a type of abuse or neglect or even upon their whims. How many unjust stories of injustice have we witnessed and heard of? that they will come and take your child from your home. So in fact, we it would be more appropriate to say CDS than uh, child uh, CP, CPS, Child Destructive Services. And we have many cases where the children, it is as if, it is as if they, have, they have more rights than the parents and they rule over the parents. This is what that society and the welfare system encourages you. And however, this is not the place to go into depth about that, but it's an important uh, fact that we need to realize as Muslims in America and as individuals in America, whether they're Muslim or non-Muslim, to realize this, this uh, war against the parents and war against the status of the parents that a child is able to call 911 uh, just because they feel at their, at their whims and the police will come and arrest the parents. This is something, it is ludicrous, and it's beyond words, the, uh, the tyranny that is occurring and the war against the family that we see with the American uh, injustice welfare system. Going back to the hadith of the Prophet wasallam, so the mother has great rights and the father has great rights and the next of kin, the near of kin, that your uncle, your aunt, your grandmother, all of them should be uh, respected and loved and obeyed. That we should do our best to be obedient to them as long as they do not call us to disobedience to Allah the Almighty. That it should be within the bounds. And this is uh, affirmed in the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ because the Prophet ﷺ emphasized, as we mentioned, with the tartib or the order in the hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, Verily Allah orders you uh, with, uh, with your, your mothers. And then your mothers. Again, your mothers. So it shows us the, the great status of the mothers. And then your fathers. 
and then those who are next of kin. So it shows us that that is the level of of uh, of obedience and respect that we should have for our parents. We begin with the mother, the mother having the highest status, and the father, or then the father. Not meaning that if your father tells you something, your mother tells you, you don't do what the father says, no. But it just shows you that the mother has a greater right because of her mercy for you. Because of her mercy uh, that Allah has given her for her children. And then finally, those who are next of kin to you and those who are closest and those who are next and next in line. So the ties of kinship are very important in Islam. Islam uh, emphasizes that and emphasizes that as a way of being obedient to Allah and that it is one of the greatest sins to be disobedient and cut the ties of kinship, to be disobedient to your parents and cutting the ties of kinship with your family. So we have to be uh, incredibly uh, we have to pay particular importance to this and especially for our youth so this is advice to our youth to make sure that you are respectful to your parents and do not let any outside entity come between you and your parents for example as we mentioned the CDS child destruction services that they can be a great harm to your family and break up the unit of the family and play you play you against your parents and that is one of the evilest of affairs and that they would take the right from the parents which it is a God-given right it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who gave this right but yet they intervene and say no 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 it's the state's right no 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 it's CPS's decision no 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 our counselor has determined this and this is uh, this is a, a great uh, you know evil and a great uh, dis- uh, cause of discord in the family breaking up the family unity and we have so many cases and so many stories that they are countless and we ask Allah the Almighty to protect the Muslim family and protect all of our families and bless us all to unite based on the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and may Allah protect our families from every kind of evil wa Sallallahu Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم